My story showed was that the cocaine that was being sold in those neighborhoods uh, was coming from mainly one source, and this one source was being used to finance a guerrilla war in, in Central America. The general idea of the CIA dealing drugs um, was something that the American mainstream press had never written about before, and that's why it prompted outrage among blacks, among drug reform activists, among uh, politicians, by the CIA, by every federal agency involved in the drug war, because it showed they weren't doing their jobs, that it, that it was a fraud. Sir, the man in the, in the uh, leather jacket. I, I will tell you, Director Deutsch, as a former Los Angeles police narcotics detective, that the agency has dealt drugs throughout this country for a long time. The room exploded. What I saw at that time was that there was a crying lack of knowledge in the body politic about how much evidence there really was about the criminal activities of the Central Intelligence Agency, specifically dealing drugs. Director Deutsch, I will refer you to three specific agency operations known as Amadeus, Pegasus, and Watchtower. I have Watchtower documents heavily redacted by the agency. I was personally exposed to CIA operations and recruited by CIA personnel who attempted to recruit me in the late 70s to become involved in protecting agency drug operations in this country. I have been trying to get this out for 18 years and I have the evidence. If you have information about CIA illegal activity in drugs, you should immediately bring that information to wherever you want, but let me suggest three places. The Los Angeles Police Department. It, it, it is your choice, the Los Angeles Police Department, the Inspector General, or uh, office of one of your Congress uh, persons from this. Uh, 
What was the big deal? He came up here, he sat there, and he lied to the American people. Let me say something else. If this information turns up wrongdoing, if it turns up wrongdoing, we will bring the people to justice and make them accountable. He came, he went, and nothing ever happened. I think all the gangs were heavy players in the drug trades because the cocaine explosion caused so much product to be out on the streets in Chicago. These traffickers needed somebody to move it, so naturally they turned to the gangs. As the 1980s dawned, the gang began branching out into Chicago's poor neighborhoods, spreading its brand of capitalism. Uh, those same areas, you know, where they lack economic stimulus. While some members got legitimate jobs, the rest sold drugs. And for the most part, that is what keeps them together, is the drug business. The Satan Disciples created a structure to control the flow of money. Cash flowed from street dealers to the set bosses, eventually all the way up to the king. Once you sell narcotics, yes, you may be making money for yourself, but also you're going to have to pitch some back in. You're going to have to pay something back to, to the king. The temptation of the beat You slip and lose your grip And forever fall asleep The venom is contagious Be wary of its spell What you thought would be heaven Turns out to be hell I wonder if she knows The devil's taking off her clothes Deep into her soul Stole now he's in control Papa's doing worse A victim of the deadly curse Wouldn't be the first To leave the ghetto in a hearse Oh and how it hurts The children pay the biggest price Never gets the chance To grow up with a happy life Blame it on the rock But we know that's a bunch of crap Someone from the top Supplying us with plenty crap, keep them in a day. Don't let them see the other way, let them all get paid. Won't live to see another day. See, they never got a crap, but a sunshine. Now the kids addicted and only hit it one time. We're destined to be dead as a nation. Don't let it come to this. Resist the